Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to talk to you about EV sales. Um, some people say they're booming, and I would say that they're not. Uh, make your own mind up. I'll, I'll try and show you my reasoning. Um, but it's not lost on me at all that you'll probably hear in the background some banging, and that's the. I live by the side of the river, and the. the <laughs> updating the flood defences. They're putting a wall along the side of the river here because it floods. And it gets quite high and it comes over and it comes over the fields. 53 years ago, I started washing cars at a place in Waltonley Dale. And basically, where I live now, Waltonley Dale is that way, down this river. And the garage in Waltonley Dale, the river ran along the side of the road. And guess what it used to do then, 53 years ago? It used to flood. Um, in fact, the, the guys next door, in the garage next door, Bob and Terry, they had an old Land Rover. And they used to probably make more money with the tow rope and the Land Rover Defender towing people who tried to get through the flood out of it when, when, the, you know, when the car packed up. Not a whole lot's changed. To be fair, I am reading or trying to read or listen to even, that's a, a better description, Electric Revolution, and the, and the EV, again, it does what we all do, Revolution, EV in green. And it's green, it's not red, it's green. Myths and Truths About Electric Vehicles and Climate Disaster, Aidan McLean, good name too. So I'm listening to that. I've read Cobalt Red, and that's harrowing, it's, it's awful. And to be honest, the, the first few chapters of this is that's pretty pretty bad too um so <laughs> i'm trying to get a balanced view however my origins are in the motor trade i've loved the motor trade i've been in it all my life and i'm just retiring from it and i'm pretty sure that quite a few people tell me i'm thick in not so many words and i'm, I'm kind of i'm semi-dyslexic i have a superpower which is I can make a word up out of number plates and I can see this word <laughs> and nobody else can because it's just, my brain just jumbles it up. However, for somebody from a poor background, not very clever, I've had a great life. I've had, a, you know, I, I've had some great times in the motor trade. I've, I've made enough to support myself mostly. I've had a few bad times and I've had some good times. So... It's a kind of levelling up thing. You can be not very clever, but good at something like sales. And so long as you're honest, you've got my blessing. So you can then go on to make a good living. Now, that's only fair, isn't it? But now, the motor trade's been ruined. And it's being ruined by EVs. The lack of sales, because they need to sell, because there's been a target imposed on how many... EVs, the, the manufacturers have to sell. It's killing them. It's absolutely killing them. And then you've got people like this chap who infuriates me. It's, it's almost like, I mean, I infuriate a lot of people as well, so don't get me, you know, don't get me wrong. I understand it. But it's almost like it's a personal attack on everything I believe in. And, um, and the, the full of shit show, as I call it, the with their mysteries. They, they just... Two ways of looking at it. Their way and my way. We've both got a point, I suppose. But... I just can't... You know, I just can't understand it. I can't understand it. So, right, listen. Let me just... And, and other people who, who wind me up. This, this guy who I blocked ages ago, a guy, anti-EV idiots. Well, he's the biggest idiot I've ever come across. EV food buster. He's replied to another tweet, not put my name in so I wouldn't see it, but somebody else has told me, and, and I've, I've looked. Any spin yet from this, this is the SMNT. This is the motor trade body that's supposed to look after us. Pre-loved EVs 
soar to record levels as used car market goes green. You see the green bit again? EVs, green, green, good. So the pre-loved EVs soar to record levels and the used car market goes green. Well, you know, let's, let's like drill down into this. Used EVs in the whole quarter sold 53,423. All of them, every single make, model, color, every different manufacturer, all put together, no matter what year, whether it be the ones that they've pre-registered, lied about really, they've pre-registered them, then sold them as a used with no mileage on. So that was one sale as a new one, and then they've sold it as a used, as a new car, two sales. So they've got a new and a used sale. So that's a lie. So you can knock half of them off anyway, these 53,000. They're, they're just not. So to put that in perspective, used Ford Fiestas on their own sold 77,908. 24,500, nearly, <laughs> nearly half as many again. 24,500 more Ford Fiestas were sold than every single EV. Ship for brains here. Any spin yet from Barry or Jeff, that'll be Jeff buys cars. Any spin yet from Barry or Jeff as to why the used EV market is in its, is in its arse. So anyway, I've sent him there. Hope this helps, anti-EV idiots. Don't believe everything you read. Spin on that. Just to take it a bit further. Courses sold 64,681. Golf, 59,380. Focus, 57,327. So what's that? So basically five just single models, not whole ranges, single models sold five or six times more than all the EVs. Does that sound like EVs are soaring to a record level as the used market goes green? Because if I'm honest, it doesn't to me. It seems like the used EV market is, as Matey Boy says, in its arse. We'll go on to the next one. The Full of Shit Show. Electric vehicles have become the fastest growing powertrain. This is new ones. And then it says discounting. Th this is figures from the SMMT, the latest SMMT figures. So they've read the report. Discounting, which is taking place across all fuel types, is moving new car buyers towards increasingly affordable battery EVs, a win for consumers. It's not a win for consumers, and it's certainly not a win for the motor trade. The levels of discounting on EVs are far higher than I've ever seen in the motor trade before. I mean, it's like 50%. It's like half price. They are losing money. But what the actual headline says... See, the fully charged show, who, who they, they want EV myths. They want to dispel EV myths. So discounting has made them affordable. Well, what the actual report says, battery electric, the only powertrain to see uptake rise as manufacturers continue to subsidize transition with billions, billions of pounds in unsustainable discounting. One in five models now retailing for less than the average petrol or diesel but consumer support still needed for fast and fair transition. How is that fair? How is discounting them and putting consumer support, how is that fair? How can they be selling, discounting, let's just go back, according to the Fuller Shit Show, discounting which is taking place across all fuel types. So let me get this straight. EVs are a lot dearer than diesel or petrol, but the new ones are selling for less. 
Why don't the petrol and diesel cars, if discounting is going across all the fuel types, why aren't they still cheaper? Because it's not. They're fully charged, so full of EV shit. Full of it. Absolute garbage. If you want to talk about fucking myths, listen to these bunch of idiots. It's just... The, the whole used car market's down. Why is it down? They're buying business with EVs. They're buying it. Basically, the new ones, they're not, they're not new sales. They're used sales. They're used car prices. They're not new sales. If there was no discounting, if the same level of discounting applied to diesel, petrol, EVs, the new car market would be down a hell of a lot more. You can count, in my opinion, in my experience, if a car is sold for 50%, that's equivalent, basically, to a two to three year old car. So it's not a new car you're selling, you're selling it as a two to three year old car. Price, it's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Colin Walker. Jeez, this guy really gets on my nerves, honestly. I mean, I, I annoy a lot of people, and, I, you know, <laughs> and, and it always reminds me of, of <laughs> Herbert Lom in Inspector Clouseau, whenever his name is mentioned and, he, and, he, and his eyes start flickering. This, this guy, I mean... It's just Department of Transport. Electric sales in the UK are up this month, making 20.7 of new car sales according to industry figures. This means nearly 30,000 new EVs on our roads as drivers are increasingly making the switch to electric. A 24% increase compared to sales in October 23. And that's you know, Louise Haig, positive stats from the SMMT today. Electric vehicle sales are up almost 25% compared to this time last year. The government will continue to support drivers in industry in making the switch to electric. Was she the transport minister? She shouldn't really be doing that job, really. If, if she believes that load of old crap, and the Department of Transport... 21% of new car sales were electric. Then, I've informed our transport minister, you forgot something. It's putting them out of business, but don't let the facts get in the way of some great propaganda. Battery electric vehicles, the only powertrain to see uptake, rise as manufacturers continue to subsidise transition with billions in unsustainable discounting. Here we go, Audi Group profits collapse 91% on the back of China slowdown an EV slump. Audi, <laughs> one of the best car makers ever, 91% down. Do you think that's the unsustainable <laughs> EV support? Do you think that's where it's coming from? Volkswagen. Volkswagen tables 10% pay cut for workers as profits fall by 42% in third quarter. Plant closures not ruled out. They're also going to uh, cut the staff. China slowdown and lack of demand for EVs are key reasons behind the slump. BMW. See, profits tumble in quarter three. Profits fall, but brand remains bullish. Productions delays to new vehicles and weaken Chinese market effect and weaken Chinese market effect results. 
Now, as I was saying about uh, Mr. Walker from the Climate Intelligence Unit, the worst named unit of climate bullshit, no, EV bull, perhaps, you know, they're probably right about the climate. But as far as the EV goes, they're not helping at all. Commenting on the news that Volkswagen is planning to close three factories in Germany. Colin Walker from the ECIU said, This is a sad consequence of an industry that is dragging its heels in making the transition to building EVs rather than embracing it. Colin. I'm pretty sure you've never been in business. I'm pretty sure you've uh, something to do with the cycle thing before, which I should have known then. Colin thinks it's a sad consequence of not embracing EVs. So, today, we get the report. I mean, who, who was the first to embrace EVs? What, Toyota? What, well, what about the godfather of EVs? What about the godfather of these? Right, okay, let's, let's, let's try and find him. Dr. Andy Palmer, Andy at Auto. Dr. Andy Palmer, 45 years in the auto business, proud to launch iconic cars as CEO of Aston Martin and COO of Nissan, in brackets including Valkyrie, Aston Martin Valkyrie, and Nissan Leaf. Now on a mission to help the planet. So he's on a mission to help the planet. He introduced the Nissan Leaf. That's, that's what he always says. That's what he always got, goes on about. His tweet 46 minutes ago, was it? Quarter three UK used car data in from the SMMT. Following record-breaking new EV sales, used EV sales are up. Car market up 4.3% in quarter three as almost 2 million vehicles change hands. Used EV soar by 57% to... 53,423 units, recording largest ever market share at 2.7%. Well, he's, he's neglected to put, was it, was it 1.9 million? 1.9 something million used vehicles have sold? They haven't even, they're, if you knock off the 1.9 million, if I can, if I can find it, they haven't even sold more than the odds on the 1.9 million. You know, I, I mean, it, it, it's like being a, in a boxing match and saying, "Yeah, but I only got knocked out once. <laughs> it's a win." <laughs> Pre. Loved EVs again in Andy's. It's just disgraceful. It's just disgraceful hype. So one million nine hundred sixty-five thousand eight hundred eleven vehicles have sold used vehicles. Fifty-three thousand four hundred twenty-three EVs have sold. So there's like one million nine hundred twelve thousand eight hundred eleven. More ice cars. There shouldn't be any used EVs on the market. There shouldn't be any on, on Auto Trader. Is it the 16,000 or something used ones? And about 16, 1700 of them are, are pre reg things. If this was true, there would be zero EVs on Auto Trader for sale used. It's just not true. The, the, it's just absolute bullshit. Can, can you not see that? Dr. Andy Palmer, introduced the Nissan Leaf. Would you say, like, Colin before said that um, that's the consequences of... Well, well let's, let's just kind of go back. This is a sad consequence of an industry that is dragging its heels in making the transition to building EVs rather than embracing it. So Nissan, Nissan, you know, Andy there, he's retweeted that, and Nissan introduced the Leaf, 
Guess what the news is today from Nissan. You're going to laugh at this. You're going to laugh at it. Latest news, car dealer. Here we go. Nissan cuts profit forecast by 70% and announces 9,000 jobs to go globally. Concerns for UK staff. Uh, thanks, Colin. Thanks, Col. Nine thousand jobs to go globally, and six thousand are employed in the UK. That's the consequences. It's not a sad consequence of an industry that's dragging its heels in making the transition to building EVs rather than embracing it. It's a sad consequence of an industry trying to sell EVs to people who don't fucking want them. Six thousand employed in the UK. Nissan announces massive profit drops in quarter two. Forecast is down 70% for the year. It's now looking to save 2.6 billion with cuts. You know where those 2.6 billion have gone that it's trying to save? Propping EVs up. I would guess. Propping EVs up. Don't fucking tell me that EVs are selling. Don't tell me they're selling new. And don't tell me that pre-loved EVs soar to record levels as the used car market goes green. The used car market and the new car market in EVs is going red. Red ink. That's all you're going to get at the moment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.